think it was two years I was on the waiting list, um, but it was definitely worth the wait. Yanni Papas got his plot at the Fenway Victory Gardens this spring. He's hoping to grow some food. I have some cucumbers and then chives and then some strawberry plants, so hopefully those will fruit. There was a time when you couldn't find a gardener to take a garden. Pam Jorgensen, president of the Fenway Garden Society, the nonprofit running the Victory Gardens, tends her own space. She says demand since the pandemic has skyrocketed. The waiting list to get a plot is more than 250 people. I would ask gardeners, how long did you wait for a garden? Oh, I got it the week after. Whereas now we're saying it'll be the year after. So yes, the list has um, exploded. And then all of these are and kind of circling around the back are all our production beds. At the Needham Community Farm, demand for opportunities and their volunteer education and healthy foods programs is high. We fill up pretty quick. That includes the farm's community supported agriculture program, where you pay a fee and get fresh produce throughout the season. We're full for the season. <laughs> As inflation pushes produce prices through the roof, many community farms are committed to helping by donating. Being able to donate the food to people, especially like no questions asked, there's no requirements, um, is really great. Now you are taking a live look at the field right next to the community farm here in Needham. The farm just got a brand new grant that will allow them to build 150 more community garden beds right there in the fields behind me. Some of them will be for low income gardeners. Others will be handicap accessible and they tell me they are hoping to have those beds up and going by next year.